Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ato atagan o pasilungog ang ginoo. Diri sa atong kinabuhi. Uh, we keep him all the glory and the honor. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I'll be sharing to you from my heart. Okay. Especially at this time of uh, celebration during a pandemic. Kari sa tubangan, ma'am, na yung kwanda. Palihura po ang tubig na kuro. Ani? Ani? Palihura tubig na kuro. At this time of pandemic, kinahanglan ma kung ito ma sana may pahinong dumanta sa ginoo na faithful na siya. Okay? Faithful siya sa atong kinabuhi. I'll keep on pressing this button here because now I understand now na pwede at the same time kari makita ko or at the same time kita sa pudiha okay? sa video. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kasi at this time ba of crisis sa kaliputan, all of us should be able to be reminded na faithful ang ginoon natin. Kana matinong anon ang atong ginoon. Kaya naaman ang ginoon siya isaan sa atong kinabuhi. Gani last time, last Sunday, I shared to you about uh, the promise of God to His people na He has plans for us. <laughs> Nasa yung plano. Okay, sa iyang mga plano, daghan kayo siya at mga saan. Goes with it, mga saan. O, inahanglan mahibaw ka na. Uh, it, it is here, okay, in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9, na ganyan din ha. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9 Maging yung diha Know therefore that the Lord your God is God the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love Him and keep His commandments a thousand generation. Listen carefully. This is a promise of God. Ngayon siya niya sa NIV Know therefore. So kinahanglan, makibaw yun ka closely sa imong heart, patitigan yun nino that the Lord is God. Hello. Na may mutuo na itong ginoo, Jesus, pero di mutuo nga God siya. Hello. Takan man tao, kasagara na itong mga reliuso ng kita. Okay, mga itong tagsimbahan, sa higalin mo, luhod pa ta, padungto sa altar, niya, balik. Okay? Pero huwag yun na ito siya, i-realize na God yun siya. Because when you, when you say that the Lord is God, meaning, <laughs> He is in control of your life. Meaning, kung unsay iyang gisulti, unsay iyang gisaat, iyang pagabuhatod. Are you following me? So, kinahanglan, deep in your heart, mahibaw ka that God is God. Hello. Kay usahay, ito mang ilimit goods, si God as not God. Ato siyang 
compare like a man. Kaya ba kayo soon, inig mag-ampo ta, may hinta. May na ba kang ginawa to, no? You know, sa itong pag-ampo, kikilahan lang matagpag to. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Are you following me? Pero, before you will have that faith, you should know who God is and you should know His promises. Huwag naghan siya mga promises na naasa Bible, naasa Word of God. And the promises of God are for us. For you. Are you following me? That's why he said, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God. In the faithful. Matinod anon siya. Mahimo ikaw iso or dili ka matinod anon. Kay mama na nature sa tao. May lang sa pagsugod, pagpahuman, nawa. Pero ang atong ginoo, regardless of time, regardless of circumstances, God is always faithful. Are you following me? Ipotang niya, the faithful God who keeps his covenant. Ano saan ang covenant? <laughs> Unsa yung isaad sa ginoo? Eh baka isoon, daghang kayong covenant, pakisaad ang ginoo, nga ito sa mga tao. <laughs> O sa maong covenant, <laughs> ngayon niya, he is a faithful one. Pada ang mong covenant iksoon, mo niya siya yung itawag. It's an exchange of vow. Kanang marriage is like a covenant. There is an exchange of vow. Kung saan ang vow, pakisaan. Nga para mawork ang covenant, kinahanglan Makiksaad ang ginoo ni mo o ikaw sa makiksaad sa ginoo. Meaning, for a covenant to be perfected, hinahanglan na ay fulfillment on both parties. Ang ato pangong kasagaran ni Soon, we just want God to do His part of the covenant. Sa pakiksaad, gusto na to ang ginoo buhat, pero dili ta mo buhat sa atong party. Are you following me? Gusto lang na to, Lord, Lord, give me, give me, give me, give me. Pero we do not do what God requires of us sa covenant. And the Lord, He emphasized niya, it is God who, who said this to Moses. He said that, who gives covenant and steadfast love. Steadfast love. Uh, sa mong translation na rin, is a unsteadfast love. <laughs> the reason why God made a covenant for us, to us, isaan siya, tumod kay nahigug masya sa ginoo. Praise God. Can you get David please here? Because he's distracting the service. Yes. Praise God. Who keeps covenant and steadfast love? Okay. Nakiksaan ang ginoo kay nahigugma siya kanimo. Nahigugma siya sa iyang katawahan. Praise God. Okay. It's the nature of God. The reason why nakiksaan siya sa inyo ha, is because He loves you. As a matter of fact, the reason why Jesus Christ died in the cross, it is because of the love of God. Hello. And in the part of the covenant ni, ni Lord is that He is the faith. He is faithful. Pero kikinahanglan ni Soon, ang atong part, we should also be faithful. Asabot mo? O ang Faithfulness ni Lord is steadfast. And His faithfulness is through all 
generation. Yung tabel, oh, and steadfast love with those who love him. Okay? And keep his commandments o sa niya? to a thousand generation. Meaning it's so on for those people who are also faithful to him. In the covenant, yung pakisaan sa ginoo, faithful siya Dili lang in one generation. <laughs> Gwapo kayo, no? To a thousand generation. Meaning, ang blessing bitaw ni mo, dili lang on this generation nga makawitness ka. It will even be <laughs> enjoyed by your next generation. Are you following me? If you want to give a true legacy sa imo mga anak, sa imo mga apo, your children's children, okay? Be faithful with God. Why? It will affect your next generation. And your generation karon kung nagsuffer ka of all these kinds of the effects of the forces of sin, you will be freed from all those courses and kato na kay na free na ka ang imo next generation maapiktuhan. E ba ba iso? There are so many people nowadays who are enjoying the blessings that the Lord has given to their forefathers. And now they are reaping. So sometimes may mga ganong gibless mo gina siya pag ayo. Nga mura magdini yun ni maayo yung kuan pamaagi. Hello, in tanaw ng roots is on, they were reaping the, the blessings of their mother or their grandfather because their grandfather, their mothers were some time before faithful to the Lord. Are you following me? In Anna ang ginoo, <laughs> his blessing, okay, is given to a thousand generation. And so, because he wants to be faithful in his covenant with us, pakiksahan, iyang gi tuyo yun, iyang yung gisuro, na whatever God promises, he will really fulfill it. Okay. Ang question ko na kay Bawa ba ka sa mga promise ni Lord. You know, kanang mga promise is so Imo na siyang panilingan ang ginoo. Imo ni claim. Imo ni nan ang ginoo. Lord, you said that you will do this for me. Lord, you said just like kanang bitaw imo mga anak, imong tagaan og promise. Imong mga anak mo yon. Ma'am, dad, di ba nagsulti ka, nisaad ka, nga, imo na yung buhaton? Inana, ang kuan sa ginoo, makigrelate ang ginoo sa, sa ato, ah, kinangan, mag-expect siya nga, remind man na to siya sa iyang mga saad. Because ang atong ginoo, <laughs> di ni man maka, pamaka, o di ni sab siya, mamaka. Are you following me? Meaning, kung unsay yung gisaad nga liya sa pulong sa ginoo, iya ng pagabuhaton. Kung ikaw mismo sa faithful ka sa kabinan, sa pagisaad niya. So, gisulat yun na sa ginoo, diri sa balaang kasulatan. Atong pasahon, ha? Okay. Kani siya nga, Mrs. Lako is so on, the faithfulness of God. Mahatag na ito ni Go. Uy, buhi yun ay ang ginoo. <laughs> Karong pandemic, nabuhi ito bang ko. Nakakaon magin ko. Kasabot mo iso on. Uway yung nakakaon pa mo. Anong nabuhi pa man mo? Nawa mo yung mga trabaho. Because of the goodness of God. Because of the faithfulness of God. Atong pagpapanang ito. Thank you.
Basahin mo na to sa Hebrews chapter 6 verse 13 to 20. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Basahin na to. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 13 to 20. In IV. Okay. Ato basahon. When God made His promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for Him to swear by, He swore by Himself, saying, "I will surely bless you and give you many descendants." Niyo si Kino Jesus, ang ino Abraham, surely get blessing and get and I will give you many, many descendants. Sa promise na, that is the Abrahamic covenant of God. Okay? It's a, uh, and so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. Kasi si Abraham, itawag ni siya sa ginoo sa Bible as the heroes of faith. One of the heroes of faith. Okay? Mga bahingali sa pagtuo in Himo ang isang example. And that's why he's called the he called Father Abraham. Because he is the father of faith. He's a good example of faith. Because kaya si Abraham, kaya sa aral sa gino, at his age 90, Abraham, mga anak ka, pinagi kang sarap. 90 years old na siya, Exxon? Hello. In physically, wala na ipaglaom. In 90 na lang. Pero isaaran sa gino. And Abraham believed God. Maski imposible pa. Pero panahon na isuot, it seems impossible to believe that God will prosper you at this time of pandemic. But God's promises is from one generation to another generation, to all generation, atong pagpakan ang ino. And so Abraham's part is to believe and to obey God and wait. <laughs> believe, obey, and wait. And after waiting, <laughs> patiently, Sagarang mga nato isuod, gusto ta sa blessings ni Lord. Within our time frame. Nang lang, bless, Lord, bless me Lord, within today, within tomorrow, within this week, blah, blah, blah. Nagawat na kita ang ginawa. Tika mo na, ha? Are you doing your part? Hello. And so, he waited. While waiting, he's doing something. And then, the answer came. Abraham received what was promised. Mga mga ni siya, i-explain din eh. Ni San Pablo, yun sila si San Pablo ko na may author ang Hebrews. Ang uban mo lang delay ko na. Hillary, i-explain din eh sa Hebrews chapter 6 verse 16. Give them that. People swear by someone greater than themselves. And the oath confirms what is said. And puts an end to all argument. Now listen carefully. Ang ginoo, nagbuhas siya ang pag-isaan. O saan ang pag-isaan? Promise. Manaad ka. That's a promise. Pero parang yun masiguro. Hmm. Ang ginoon ni swear pa yun. Saan ang swear? Saan si Brisaya ng swear? Ha? Ni, lahi, lahi itong promise. Lahi ng kanang ni swear. Nanumpa siya. He take an oath. Kakiba ka ng oath of office. Okay? Na I promise. Okay? Ang ginoon, iya pa yun ng gipanumpaan. Kanang panumpaan ni Sun kanang you, you, you take an oath by heaven hello 
atau parona nih pertanda. Because God wanted the, to make the unchanging nature of His purpose very clear to the ears. Kita sama ears, ikaw, okay? Iyang gisaan o iya pagyungi panumpaan. Uh, kani mga batanong kay bawon sila usa nang panumpa. Kada bitay yung tingsman. <laughs> I really swear. Ang sana mamatay pa paka. <laughs> Hello, itaga nako ni sa bato. Are you following me? That is what we call swearing. So ang gimo ang gino oh, nagbuhat siya. Nakisaad siya of the lumpa pagin siya. What's the purpose of that? To make it okay? Because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose. Kay ang katuyuan sa gino dili mausab ang plano sa gino sa imong kinabuhi dili mausab Na anas yai giset nga plan for your life. That's why in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, "For I know the plans I have for you, plans not to harm you, but plans to prosper you and give you a future and a hope." Are you following me? So ang ginoo na asya dili ba usab ang iyang mga gisaad? God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If God doesn't change, can somebody who change? Ikaw, para mo conform ka sa purpose ni God sa imong kinabuhi. Amen ba? Atong pagpaka ng ginoon. Ibutang na. Okay. Uh, because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of His purpose very clear to the ears of what was promised, He confirmed it with an oath. God did this so that by the two unchangeable things, sorry, two unchangeable things, a promise the Lord, ang yung promise niyang saan, ang iyang panumpa. It cannot be changed. Yung gidoble na siya, isigurado nila sa gino, so that in which it is impossible for God to lie. Kaya ang Bible ni Saul, truth na siya, o ang promises na naa sa iyong pulong, dili na mamaka. Kaya ang gino, dili bakakun. Ito itong pagpaka ng gino. Lord, dili ka baka ko. And so, mauna diha, ibutang diha. Okay? He who have pled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. Inaman, so, ikaw nga magtutuo kang ilong Jesus, ma-encourage ka diha, nga ang Diyos na ipakisaad na asya panumpa para sa imong kaayuhan, para sa imong success, Para sa inyong kalampusan o kalambuan. Huwag kinangla na rison, you become faithful also in the covenant. Sa pakisahan. Exchange of vows. Saan ang ginoo sa inyo ha? Kung sa maisaan ni Musa ginoo. Kung ang saan sa ginoo yung i-fulfill. Kung nakisaan ka sa ginoo, Imo ba nang i-fulfill? Para you will be part faithful of the covenant, ang imo part, you have to fulfill. Kung ato na yun ato, pag to, pag obey. Obey and be faithful to God. Amen ba? Atong pagpakan sa ginawa. Amen. Amen. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Kani ni ay pakisaan sa ginoo sa ato ah, o iyang panumpa, mo ni atong hope. Hallelujah. 
<laughs> angkor. <laughs> Unsa nang angkor? Sa kuan pa na sa bangko, angkla. Kaning angkla iso on. Usually gamito na kung ang barko na asya sa port. Okay? If they will down, put down the anchor. Okay? Para ang ang, ang barko dili siya ma-move by the waves. Mas stable siya. Okay? You know, it's, or it's a, like a security na mas stabilize ang bang ang barko. Mo na ipakanaog ang angkla. Kaya kung wala yung angkla, dili ang dili stable ang barko nga naa sa port sa bitabo kung naay dako kayong weights ma bal masala mabunggo siya sa puerto madaot ang barko mausab ni siya ang saad sa Ginoo kaniyang kaniyang promise kaniyang panumpa kani kabinan niya is a good anchor for our soul. Nga makasalita nga he who promise uh, is faithful to do his part. Atong papakanan nyo. Who keeps covenant. Okay? So, what is it so on? Uh, Kaning oath ni Lord okay, is to guarantee His promise. And that is the reason why it is impossible for God to lie. Impossible yun nga mamakak ang ino. Kung sa may implication ano sa atong kinabuhi karon labi na karong pandemic. Di on the promises of God na nasa iyang Bible. And then i-claim na siya. And stand on it. Ay may mga condition na sa maong sa maong promises ni Lord. Buhata. Hello. Because God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Atong papakan ang gino. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. Kali ba? You do not know how to use? Okay. Okay. The power of it. Ali ini kuat isi worship. Second Corinthians chapter one verse twenty. Ibu tangga iso. Apa sahaja no? Isteri kami nak kita nak. Hello. Kau sudah. Kau yang tanang saat sejus matu mangkayu di atas Kristus. Kamu ni ini mengingat kita. Amen. Ina agi kan Kristo anang semaya sa Dios. Amen. Sa si mani, nawa ba? 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Praise the Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Ato pasaho, gusto na ito basa. For no matter where they go, for no matter how many promises God has from me, they are yes in Christ, and so through Him the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Ato paroho ni ha, for as many promises God has made, so sa Bible, nagkang kayong promises ang ginawag ibuhat niya. Okay? Mga saan. O niya, kanilang saan, nakapag yun siya ay panumpak. May nakabi na. Okay? Ibuhat niya, they are yes in Christ. Kaya ba kayo, so, the reason why 
Jesus Christ died in the cross is to fulfill the will, the will of the Father. And the will of the Father is to bless you. And so when Jesus Christ died in the cross, He fulfilled all the will of the Father. And that's why in the cross He said, It is finished. And that's why all the promises of God are completed in Christ. And that's the reason why when you ask God in prayer, you have to ask this in Jesus' name. Because by yourself, the promises of God cannot be fulfilled. It's only through Jesus when you pray and believe in Him that all the promises of God <laughs> will be for you. And that's why it's called yes in Christ. Are you following me? Hello. The yes here is in Christ. But there is a part that we have to do. First obedience, there's a part that confirms it. It is here. And so through him, through Jesus Christ, the amen is, is spoken by us. Kisay mo story ani? Kani amen? Ikaw. That's why when, when I share to you something that is promises of God, promise of God and you agree to that, it's called amen. Kanang amen means you agree. And you have to speak it. Are you following me? Because in speaking, it activates the will of God. It activates the angels of God who is just waiting for your confession, for your declaration. Heaven and earth shall pass away. My words will never pass away. It will only happen uh, when you declare it. Are you following me? Your confession is very important to fulfill the will of God for your life. Meaning, you have to agree with God. Are you following me? Nakuha ninyo? Internalize ninyo? You have to agree with God for the plan of your life. And you have to align with God. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Very simple na nina. Ani sa Lord's Prayer ni. Ang principle. Okay. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is heaven. Okay. That's why Jesus Christ. Commanded us to pray. Okay. In his name. You should pray this. In my name. Are you following me? Not in your name. When you go to God, when you pray, don't be proud. You have to humble with God that without Him, your prayers cannot be answered. And you have to humble and say, Lord, <laughs> in your name I pray. Say, ang ino, dili, mamaka. Saya mga saan. Say mo. That's why kinahanglan may bawa ka sa iyong mga saad. Asa iyong mga saad? Nakapastorad? Asa iyong mga saad? Asa iyong mga saad? Asa iyong mga saad niya? Nasa Biblia. So, para may bawa ka sa mga saad, kung sa'yo hato niyo mo? Basahon. Pila man ninyo ang nag-faithful, nagbasa yun sa Biblia and this pandemic. I-raise yung mga saad. Ayun ka uwaw! Ang katong mauaw, katong wala, magbasa. 
Kay ba pa isuol kung nagbasa ka? <laughs> Praise God. Mahimaw ka. Pag wala ka magbasa, kating bisihan lang niyo mo sa games niya, Facebook o whatever. Mobile Legion o sa panang mga Dota. You never know the promises of God. For you, it's nothing. But for them, hopefully, it is the power of God. Ato papaka ng ino. Naipagsaan, panagsaan ng ino, hopefully, sa Biblia. Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. Saan niya, one of the promises, prodagkang kay promises si ino, ang ginoon na to. Chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. Lamentation. Sige na ito ni kanta-kanta. Okay. Ang, at, ang ginoon oraman, nagkuwat raman sa atong obedience to fulfill our part in the covenant. Ito yung yun, di mo ko kabasa. Ako nang gin-advise ninyo, la, pagkita di hat, na magay cellphone, i-download na mga audio Bible. Nga kundi ka kaya ba o kasambot ng English, i-download ng audio Bible nga si Buano, niya paminawa. Yan na na kay Bible. Sa di ka kabasa, makasambot ka. Are you following me? I, I believe it should be in IV. Try to put it in IV. Uh, make it kind of King James version or New King James version. Para sa sila dyan. Basically, this is a song na to kanina. Ikanta ni David. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is your faithfulness. It is a lot. Jadi sa akong translation, okay, ibutang niya, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come. No, pa na, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Isuwat na ninyo ang uh, promise sa gino. Okay? Pero na, na na isa pa na ka ng kanta? The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases His mercies never come to an Oh, 
spiritual, matinodano ng ginoo. Okay? Why? Because His love never ceases. You know, mas dalik lagi po pa ang blessing na to. If we are faithful <laughs> in our part in the covenant. Are you following me? Hello. I, this is one of my favorite songs. Because every day I'm experiencing the faithfulness of God. Okay? You want to experience the same, the faithfulness of God? How do you experience God's faithfulness? Kana lang, pakai bugas, nagkampo ka. Yeah. Somewhere, <laughs> nakakaon ka. That's the faithfulness of God. Okay? Hapit ka ma disgrasya, somehow, there's a situation niya, nalikay ka sa disgrasya. That's the faithfulness of God. Ikaw, Perry, somehow, wala kang ma-appeal sa pinosilay. That's the faithfulness of God. Hello. You know, because God is faithful in His part of the covenant. Pakigsaan. Ang gusto ni Lord sa ato ah, faithful sa ta. Kaya ka nang covenant magod, exchange na siya o pakingsaan. Exchange of vows like in the marriage covenant. And at the one ni Lord, kaya ang faithfulness fresh ba? <laughs> Kusay, ang atong mga kadaugan atong gibasit long long time ago. No! God always Faithful to you every day. Are you following me? Pagpangan ang tawag ito. Now, katong sa Deuteron na may, nga niingon niya, si God nga, that He is faithful God who keeps covenant and the steadfast love with those who love Him and keep His commandments. Pabamino ha? God is a faithful God to those who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love Him and those who keep His commandments. Okay? Through a thousand generation to those who love Him and keep His commandments. Now listen carefully. In Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1 to 14. Kaya kung hulang ito ni. Kaya kaming saan ni, ni you know, sa ginoo, it's throughout generation. Mga na ay pandemic, kung wala, mong saler ni siya, nga saan niya. Labi na ron, karon nga pandemic. Okay. Sige niya. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1 to 14. Maybe unahon na to siguro ang 1 um, to 5 siguro. Okay? Para, para dakot siya ito. Okay. Ah. Basahon na to. Okay? Ngawin lang yun ang pastor ay. Hindi basahon na to. Kung hindi mo pati o kami ng Biblia, may baon na ka. Hello? Basta, ready go. If you only obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands, I give you today, the Lord God will set you high above all the nations of earth. All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city And bless in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land, and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds, and the lambs of your flocks, your basket 
and needing from will be blessed. Now, nispapla ko ana sa fire kay taas sa kayo ang kata kay mga blessing si Lord ani focus ako ani. These are some of the blessings ni Lord. Ibu tak dia, okay? You God will set you high above. Saya tak pasang bunga nak. You know when you draw Christ, when you lift Him up, He will draw men unto you, and God will cause you. To be the head and not the tail. Ooh, it's a good passabotan. There will be a time when you become part, you obey God, and be faithful of His covenant. Okay. There will be a time that you will become head and not the tail. Karun lang, okay na. Because it's part of your grooming. And you're growing. I mean, we knew if you're good, you're already of age, you will see the fulfillment of God in your life that you become a head. What did my head? President, maybe. Mayor, maybe. Barangay Captain, maybe. Or maybe it may be only in the area of your domain. Meaning, you are good in drawing. Maayo kang artist. You become a leader there. You become the head. Hello. You may not be a mayor, but because God has given you some gifting, you excel in that. Are you following me? Because everyone is given by God a gifting that is in His area of domain. Kitang panana at ay area of domain. Ano sabi ng domain? Our love in life. Reason why God made you. Wala mo kay grado. Pero may kamu luto. Maybe that is your area of domain. And be good at it. Train yourself. Mas gifted na ka, anang area ha, hala, learn further to be more excellent in that area of your domain, which is cooking. Hello? Kabihan man po, maybe your area of domain is in marketing. You're very good in marketing. You will excel in that. Wah, mungkin ni tau kan? Mai lah kamu kanta. Maybe your area of domain, you are set apart by God to worship Him and lead the praise and worship Him. And your domain is not just one. Are you following me? <laughs> he will set you high above all the nations of earth. Okay? Give up here. And all these blessings, all, in the all. All. Again, in the all. All. You will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed in the country. So, ay ba't pasabot na na? Isang asa kuno ka, whether naka sa siyudad o naka sa taon, tuwa ba ka ron sa barili, buwan-buwal, God's blessing will be with you! Why? Because you are faithful to the covenant. Hello, you obey the Lord. Can I be told serving the Lord? Listen carefully, Mary Jane and Raphael. It is part of your fulfilling the covenant with God. When you do ministry, I cannot minister you. Dili man by feeling. Hello, by decision na siya, an act of your will. 
Okay? And it needs some kind of sacrifice. A sacrifice is called worship to the Lord. You cannot call it worship if it's not a sacrifice. Hello. Blessings of obedience. <laughs> Sa gasa ka, sundod ka sa panalangin sa iyo. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. Kamu mga batakon, ayaw mo pagdali-dali ko. You should always listen to God because God has already a blind person. Ay kung magdalit-dalit mo, okay, maghilak-hilak niya mo. Why? Ang gusto ni Lord, you will be blessed. Hello. Kaya papay so on, there is always a blessing in waiting. <laughs> Because we, <laughs> you, you obey the Lord, okay, And you're able to to fulfill the Lord is in the part of marriage. Okay? Kaning imong nas imong boom is called blessed. Okay? And that's why you can get your the fruit of your womb will be will be blessed. Okay. Now, the perfect will of God is that you obey Him, and sometimes you don't obey God. But in His grace, God can turn your problems into a blessing. Kung faithfully nagrepent kaniya, faithfully ha nagrepent kaniya. What do you mean by faithfully repenting? You know this is what you are doing. This is not right. You stop and say, Lord, forgive me. And then turn away from what you are doing. And follow the Lord. Dili na pwede nga, Lord, forgive me. Pero you are still doing this thing that the Lord does not like. It's, it's an abomination to the Lord. But you are still doing it. But you see, you want still to, to worship the Lord. But you, you are doing differently. Repentance is turning away from what you are doing which is not right before God. Hello. Then you will receive the fullness of God's blessing. Are you following me? Because <laughs> ang pakisaan ni Lord is a two-way process. There is an exchange of vows. God does The part of his covenant. This part of the covenant. And God also expect to do your part of the covenant. Are you following me? Atong pagpakan ang ginawa. To know more about the blessings of God, basa ang hataw ninyo ang Bible faithfully. Hello. Daily. Nga naman. Ngayon si Lord. Man does not live by bread alone. Sa una, kanunos mga Israelites, bread. Okay? Ngunit staple nila, dili rice. Sa Philippines, ang atong staple is rice. How open ta mukha on of rice? Three times a day. Iyon si Lord. Man does not live by bread alone, but for every word that comes out from the word of God. Okay? Which means, kung mukha kong kag-rice every day, or bread every day, kinahanglan, mukha kong sabka sa word of God, because the word of God is the bread of God. Every day. Para ang imong soul, 
Ang inyo spirit is healthy and it will prosper your spirit. Are you following me? You cannot obey God if you are not <laughs> reading His Word. Are you following me? Ako buha po ito, no? Now, we saw that, you know, so Deuteronomy 5, 8 to 10 to a thousand generation. I want my blessing not to stop in me. I want my blessing to be transferred to the next generation. To my children, yung ako ka-anak, to my children's children, ako ang mga apo, si Sela, Deji, Matmas, Old Zion, and to the children's children. I will see the goodness of that in them. So, mas buhay pa ko, kakita ko na they are prospering and they are serving the Lord. Ato pagpakan ang ginawa. Now, know this, ha? Huh? Tapos sana lang eh. The faithfulness of God endures forever. Sama na, ang pagkamatinod anong sa ginoo Mulungtad hangtod sa kahanturan. Psalm 117 verse 2. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The faithfulness of God endures forever. For great is His love for us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Ang ang narabagi problema kita raman. Wala may problema ang ino. The will of God is already a done deal in heaven, but not in your life yet, because there is a part that you have to do. Be faithful. Okay? Ano? Be faithful in the little things. Attending church, attending prayer meeting. These are the, the little things. <laughs> Wala pa ng mga bigger things. Hello? Okay, the principle of God, if you cannot be trusted by Him with the little things, who will, will God trust you with the bigger ones? Okay? Are you following me? So do the little things. Okay, praise God. Ang upan nga ni ka ng pagsimba, nili yun naman na big deal. Hello? Kung ano ito mag-iug simbahan, regardless of circumstances, kung kinahangan mo baktas, mo baktas. Praise the Lord. Atong patpaka na bilo. Just to tell you, that God is faithful, and he is faithful, and he is a faithful part of the covenant. You should also be faithful. Ato pagpakanan. God bless you.